Hey, hey there. It's the boy Dash Hero. And we're back with some more Final Fantasy 16. Last we left off, we uh fought fought the fought the dragon. Yeah, remember that? That was oof. That was a time. <laughs> now we're back. We gotta go uh free the cities. We gotta go save Gav and my uncle, if I'm not mistaken. Um so yeah, let's let's go ahead get to buy some items first. Hey Sharon, I need to buy some items for you. Let Why me tell you a story, oh. Clive. Oh. Alright. Okay. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Oh yeah, Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You did some stuff you wasn't. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Trying to get Some your money women right. lust after blood, others after flesh, but me. I were always one foot gold. Ain't no wrong with that. To satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies. Stabbed my every client in the back. Made <clears> myself the most hated woman in the twins. Oh. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Was it? Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. Uh -huh. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Ah. Uh. Aye. And See? I fell right into his damn trap. Mm -hmm. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Hmm. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dumb in the twins. Great, uh, That's when he had me. Great impression. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest dumb. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say... I have never been happier. Hmm. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. Family. That there are. It's so all about you family, Don. messing Don. it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to buy some items. I think I needed an elixir. Because that's what I used when I fought the dragon. Why, it's a dangerous world out But hey, there. thanks for the story. I appreciate the story. I really do. Um, items, 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 items. Yeah, I was right. I need an elixir. It better all be. You know, I said use these these tonics, but now, nah, oh yeah, I forgot last elixir is a thing. Is that all? Yeah, that's it, really. Um, is there anything else for us to do? I don't think there is. I think we did everything else. Um, stuff to look at. Uh. I think we did all the side quests too. Yes, we did. I think we did everything. Let me check with the with the Moogle Nectar one more time. Make sure there isn't a, another bounty that we're missing. Because if there is, <coughs> oh boy! Did you see that? Then we're gonna have to put everything on hold until we get that bounty. But I think I think I did everything because we did the Man in Black. Which was that hooded guy in that underground. Then we did the the dragon. Yeah, I just don't know what this one is. So. Yeah, we did that one. And then the next one was you. This one. Oh, that was a fun fight. Alright. Well then. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's not keep our boy waiting. Gav. I'm coming, friend. You better not die on me, Gav. I already lost a couple people. And I still know that Jill's gonna die soon, because I'm gonna have to get her power at some point. Does she will oh wait, disgusting. Yeah. Sounds like thunder. Okay, that was a... You're late. <laughs> We're starting yeah. to think it stumbled off a cliff. 
it's, I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Hi, Gav. Any trouble oh, on the road? daughter. Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. My brother. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. Wow. But everyone calls me Mid. My oh. lady. Oh my. Hey. <laughs> you good, Josh? You head over hills already? You just met her. Uncle. <coughs> you good, Uncle? My boy. Oh yeah, sorry, oh, Uncle. Uncle. You didn't know. Joshua's alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's really you. Yeah. I never thought I'd see. If you hear somebody mourning along outside, just 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 ignore it. Just just ignore it. Byron, it's okay, man. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. Mm. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Yeah, I mean, perhaps. It's a good chance. What of the city? The people? Dead. <sighs> Dead, mostly. Told you. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their dead. villas before the horde arrived. Some in the You're merchants' dead. district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. Do we? What do you propose? We split into two parties. Joshua and me. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Really? Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Yeah, it's me. Me, me and Matorgal. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? <coughs> the missile engine me. could probably do with a few more tweaks. Mm -hmm. Then you better work fast. The Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You yeah, leave no. that to me. Uncle? Go with Mididale. Make sure she's live. So Gav, you, you and me. doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Gav, you coming with me? I can manage that. Oh, I'll keep him safe. Looks like you I. stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. All right, later, Gav. Good to see you again. Glad you're alive. Josh? We shall we, then? We shall. And you keep Clive safe. Oh, no, Torgo got my back. Both of you. Please. You too. Oh, you don't got to worry about me. <laughs> I'm the main goddamn character. It's not the end of the game. Hey, Torgo. Just the boys. It's me and you. Me and the dog. The dogster. All right, Torgo. You ready? All right, Torgo. fuck some shit up. Let's find those survivors. Oh, yeah, yeah find the survivors. We gotta do that too. Oh, they don't stand a chance against those things. <laughs> Run! They're gonna die. Damn. Damn, they got mighty. Hey guys, I need you. I need you to calm down over there. Hello. Hey, sure. Excuse me, gentlemen. They're wearing one loot armor. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Is that a... Hang on. Is that what I think it was? Aw, oh, damn it was. I knew it. Woo! Woo! Uh, that was a bad idea. 
staggered. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Struggle. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Come on, Toro. We got this. Electricity is where is that? If not, then. Oh, uh, it wasn't close enough. Thank you, Toro. Oh, hang on, wait, wait. Yeah, you did now. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Targo, thank you for your help. Let's continue. In an attempt to find any survivors. We probably won't find any, but if we do, I'll be very surprised. Hello? Any survivors down here? Those of you are there. Take that as a no. So, uh, everybody just stand still. Just get burned alive. Yeah! Thank you. I mean, some of you guys are still alive, but you know. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or enemy approaches. Oh, you would protect me. You, 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 you. Come get you. First one die. You going? <laughs> Where you think you going? You can't run from me. Got him. Torgo, get your man. Get your man, Torgo. Yeah. What happened Shot. to the royal army? Oh, they There's got destroyed. Is here. You know, with something that goes through the air, Clive. I don't think there's too much you can do about it per se. It's corruption. If you don't have special powers and abilities like yourself, well, that's okay. Well, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out as we go. What the hell? Oh. Um, hi. That's how you feel. Gargle. Oh shit! I didn't know it was a big guy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I could have counted that. I forgot I got tight. Yeah. Watch the face. Pretty close that game, though. Let's go. Do this to heal. Why not? Heal. Yeah, Torgo. Torgo. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Shut up. <laughs> That boy turned it to dust. Oh, d uh, Clive. Why oh, did you climb up there? All right, <clears throat> let's continue on. Still no eyes for survivors. Turgle, I think it just might be you, me, me, and you, buddy. Hey, what's going on here? Here, brave right there. Oh well. Some of that spell? Is it you? Come here. Get out of here. Soil oh man. I was trying to do something cool. You're doing something. Okay. Everybody. Everybody just calm down. Calm down. Thank you. Just calm down, everybody. Everybody's just a little rowdy, a little angry. But you're corrupted. It's all good. See, it all worked out. See, everybody's sleep. 
Everybody's doing their own thing. It's going great. Torgal. I don't know which way we're going. I think we're going this way. We're up the stairs, but I want to see. Okay, nope, we're going up the stairs. Thought I'd be able to explore that area. Oh, we got to hear. Yeah. Hello. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Busy indeed. Hello. All right, what do we have here? Hey, buddy. I'm coming to get you. And now you're dead. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. Get him, Torgo. I know you can do it. Struggle! I got you, friend. Ugh. Oh! Hello! You're new. Nice to meet you. You can teleport. How cool is that? You do a little too, a little, a little bit too much teleportation for me. Again, or else I'm gonna block it. Real stupid if I do that. Oh! Glad I dodged that. What's that? Ow. Let's go. Alright, hang on. Thank you, Torgo, for healing me. Come on, Targo. Yeah. Punch him in the face. Down for the count. Nice try. Ooh, nice try indeed. Ah, this you're dead. Where the city's leaders gather, mm -hmm. there may still be survivors inside. Oh no, definitely not. Odin came in here and murked all of them. We saw that cutscene earlier, but you, you didn't, Clive. It's okay. Yeah, we, we, we saw that earlier. Odin came in here, and he's like, I hate all y'all. And he was like, you beast! And he was like, I'll show you a beast. Where are they? They're dead! They're in their chambers. Oh, God. These creatures. Rafts. Does Ultimus Rage extend this far? What the hell is going on here? Everything. Right? Oh. Hello. Where is your master? What does he want? Um, he wants a pay raise. I don't know who did the, who did the spell, to be honest. Who did the spell? There's a lot of people here. You? Nope. Run it like you did. Come here. Judgment bullets. Hey. Kill him. Kill. <laughs> this is a cutscene? Oh. You've caused quite the commotion. Hey, it's you! The but guy from the cutscene. I would expect no less from you, Muthos. No, that's not me. Not yet. I'm Clive. You again. I'm a freak. I don't believe we've been introduced. Hi. You were in my family's crypt. Oh, wait, hold on. It's cutscene. And now you're cutscene. here. Cutscene! With an army of Akashic thralls. Yeah, explain yourself. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. It's okay, Torbo, calm down. They are pure. They are divine. Is that what you got? And they are all that remains. 
in this once raucous city. Mm. You'll pay for what you've done, as you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward <clears throat> to this. I you wanted to fight me? Pardon me, this indulgence, Your Majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Oh, uh, he's talking to Mythos. Ultima. How can you see? I am safe near of House Harbor. Uh huh. And you will yield. I'm gonna yield your mama. Let's go. Or not. Uh, no, I won't. As long as you don't hold back. And uh, hold. Whoa, 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 that piece of little buddy. Where'd you pull out a second sword from? Too slow. Nope, too slow. Alright. Keep moving. Nice try. There it is. Cool. Now we go with that this. Ooh, I thought I heard Hey, Turbo. Let's go! Run him in his face! Whoa! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. What? I thought I... Nope. Oh. Oh. Come on, Dargo. Get him. Come on, Dargo. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah, uh, too early. Come on. Yeah. Does he? That's he. The vessel is strong. My leash. You're Hi, Josh. Right. Hi, Jill. So you, I see. I fought uh, this guy. We are, yes. You know him? I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It's okay. It was I didn't over find before we arrived. It's okay. Well, you did what you could. We knew they was dead. Did. I fear we were all too late. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Is he gonna come back? Is he gonna come back corrupted? Oh! It's Odin! It's Odin! Founder. <laughs> it's funny how they always how he always say founder. I think that's their way Leaving of God. so soon, Mythos. Hi, Odin. It's the king. Odin. Indeed. You may <clears throat> kneel before Barnabas Tharm. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna do that. of Ash and king of Walu. Are we gonna have a phoenix, a freak, get back, Sheva, go against Odin? Right here, right now. Oh, Clive. Clive, you're too weak. Get stronger, Sasuke. You don't have enough hatred. I can find one hand behind his back. This man's showing off. Oh, Clive, you're getting embarrassed. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Well, he was more of a Yet bitch, I see so. why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. You won't Stop kill Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. 
Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. Talk your shit, Clive. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. <clears throat> Look at his you face. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? You got me this far. Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Uh oh, he dropped the sword. I think he's mad. There it is. Odin sword. Try it. Oh, Jill, is this where you die? Oi! Oi! This way! I got it. Help your boy. Your boy. Your boy is dying. Oh, dude, Torgo grabbed my sword. <laughs> nice. Don't fight this man. Power beyond reckoning, and they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Well, she might be dead. <laughs> Jill might be dead. <laughs> she might be dead. Jill might be dead. I'm be real with you. She might be dead. Shit. Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. Hey guys, and how is he? Any updates on Jill? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No, Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> it is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Oh, Jill? Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? Oh, wait. You're talking about yourself. I... Wouldn't go that far. See you guys, I'm not dead. Clive! You're awake. 
Hey. My boy. Where's my girlfriend, Jill? Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What? He had a he had a he had a beam. What he had a sword the beam. Fucked off the lot of them, along with the galleon, with the king on board, no doubt. The iron hair, yeah, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. Oh shit. What do you mean? She's dead, bro. She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. She's it's alright, mid. She's dead. Jill is fine. Is she? The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm gonna get up and go find her. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's <clears throat> got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. He has a point. Somebody gotta do it. Hey! We're back. So, uh, I need my table too hard. And, uh, OBS said, Haha, I'm scared. <laughs> so I had to reset everything. You didn't miss much. It was just the end of that cutscene, and then we just trans tr transported over here. So, let's, let's, let's keep going. Um, oh, there's some new <gasps> stuff on the hunt board. <clears throat> We'll get to that in a second. How are we supposed to do our Otto, the hills my girl's clean? dead. Clive, but if you're here, mm -hmm. where the hell is everyone else? I don't know. Don't tell me. They're all right. Mm -mm. But it's a long story. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we fought this one guy looking for survivors, and then we came across Odin. He, he you sliced don't me. Don't do things by halves, do you? Yeah, Jill might be well, dead. At least Not quite sure yet. No. As for these oh, wait, writings, hang on. Something's missing. I'm sorry, it's that, Clive, but if you okay. had those, you'd be sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. Mm -hmm. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. So the workshop, I go like father, like Artyor. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll, we'll go check it out. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll go check it out. And then before we leave this place, we'll check the hunt board. See if we got to do anything here to activate something outside of the hideout. And once we do that, we can uh, find the hunt board, see what's up there, etc. Et Alright, what we got? Spec volumes. Anything, Clive? Clive. Oh, we're reading some. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Yeah. Make sure there's no story about. I don't know. Not too crazy. All right, to the desk. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. <clears throat> Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. What if she does? What if she 
do a little <laughs> on the side, you know what I mean? We've had no word from Canva for days. Um, continue searching Please mid, tell me mid is all dungeon. Right. Uh, anything else? Oh. The doll. Hello, doll. I remember seeing this doll in Sitsala. I wonder if it was Mids. Maybe. Because she was in school. And then he died, and then she was like, I'm here. And he's like, ah. What's this tucked inside it? The true secrets. Mid. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recall to your ops, daughter, dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Huh. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. Might as well. What but is Sid it? Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Otto! Otto! Do you know where Sid did this riddle thing for his daughter? His daughter is all the way in, in the um, in the city. She's too far right now. I don't feel like going all the way back over there. That's a long travel. <clears throat> well, did you find anything? I found, a, I found a riddle. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. <clears throat> opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. Mm -hmm. She couldn't have been more than more. 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. No. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Alright. I guess we're going to, uh... How are we supposed to do, aren't you? Expect, uh... When the hills are cold. The walking shrine. Paul said it was an army of a cash. What? Oh. You're talking about that? Alright, let's see if this treasure hunting is over here. Ooh, hold on, you got something new on the item? Is it a new I sword? A dangerous world out there. New sword? Oh, dude, it's the rune blade! You know, we're getting it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. We got the rune blade. Look at that! Whoa! Let's go ahead and try to upgrade it as well. Hey! I'm gonna upgrade my new What's sword. Fortune, the rune blade. Oh, I got upgraded diamond sword, but now we doing the rune blade. Right. If I do say so myself, I got upgraded again, or not again. I got upgraded another one. A rune belt. You know it. Scratches, right? You know it. We getting all the good right. stuff. If I do say so myself. Thank you, good sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, indeed. Kids, why y'all touching that stuff? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. Sure about that? What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestron. I think you did. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except yeah. when it isn't. Uh oh. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. Crow, we just I will. wanted to listen to all the songs at once. Okay. So we press all the buttons. You guys broke it. I'm like gonna. This. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hmm. Might be on to something. See? All too well. All right. Out of the way. Move it, kids. Gold. Play with that box or something. Touching stuff. I know what's wrong with it. You gonna move it? There's something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No. No, I mean, yeah, yes. <laughs> Kids. Yeah. How about now? You fixed it! Sid fixed it! Alright. He more than fixed it! 
Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. What is it? You gonna put it on the table? So everybody can see what it is? Oh yeah. Well don't look at me. I can tell you it's important though. Look at it. Sid it's showed a it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. What? <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Maybe that's a dream. Indeed. A flying ship. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. I love making dreams come true. Quest complete. A hey, quest complete. My father like daughter. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for the items too. You shouldn't have. <clears throat> Hey. Just the two I was looking for. Hey, what's up, T? Uh -huh. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. What? Dion left. Why do you leave? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes. Something's man was dead. Left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. No. Don't be. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Hey, that's his problem, not Much ours. like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. Yep. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Um, too uh, much stuff is going on. Ask me when I get back. Yeah. Though I may be sometime. Mm-hmm. Then at least try to stay safe. No. I'm gonna go out and get slashed up again. But if that fails... Try to stay alive, eh? I can do that for you. <clears throat> I can stay alive for you. I'm the main character. I got a waste here. Couple stuff. The further the flagship sails. Oh, a new quest is nearby. Oh no, we got some shits. I have to get back. Uh, we got some shits to do. Okay. All right, here we go. To the shits, then. All right, sir. What do you need? Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Which ones? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. New soil. I can't wait to hear it. <coughs> I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with marbles. I know, I know. What? But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. Mm -hmm. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. And I need to go get the vine. Okay. <sighs> And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary marble. From a that is correct. place far, far a single away. vine. As for the marble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. Mm -hmm. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. I right. go back there. <coughs> the notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh boy. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. Now you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my water cool. can? We got a bounty on our hand. All right. Well, we started that one. Now, we're going to go ahead and head to our next one. Uh, the two up here. So, here we go. <coughs> All right. We're up here. What's going on? August. All right, Clive. What you need? Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Thank Speaking you. of which, I'm actually a bit, um... What? Worried about him. And you want my advice. Again. Afraid so. 
It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission. Posh And he knob. gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... Do you want me to talk to him? Fine, I'll talk to him. I'd speak to him again. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. I'll talk to him again. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. Yeah. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Have fun. The Blacksmith Blues 3. This is the third one that we did. All right. All right, Nectar. You got something for us. Oh, hey. I'm looking for the Morble sign. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. If every carrot of Ro uh, Rosaria is anything like the one that I just got posted on the board, I can see why. Who who just got... This it? Oh my god, Dread Comet. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we just got two. A bird and that thing. All right, cool. Give me a second. We got another one up here that we need to uh, activate. Hey, hello again. Glory to Griga. Yes. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. You okay? What's happened? Like you've seen a ghost? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Mm. Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. <coughs> <coughs> All right. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. She's gonna smack me in the Thank face. You. I pray you have better luck than I did. Clive. Tears of mercy. Alright. Hey. You okay? You wanna talk? Oh, Taya. Rodriguez worried about you. Yeah. And if what he says <clears throat> is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. Mm -hmm. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. What time is that then? We owe him that much. Who is he? It's your Someone father. from my past. Oh. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. Lover? It won't be much longer. The crystal's <coughs> curse has almost finished its work. Ah. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, We've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. Where did that from? You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. I mean, kill him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. Oh. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. Yeah. I, I will. Mm -hmm. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwan. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Of course, a fetch mission. Tell me what you need. There is a species of venom weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, mm -hmm. near Lorbert's Pass. Okay. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. All right, cool. Gotta go get your spider's eye. All right, spider's eye. Thank you, Clive. <clears throat> I won't forget this. Okay. No problem. Gotta go to the spider eye. After I talk to uh uh our blacksmith again, he saw something that made him mad. He's like, hey. I'm mad because I'm not a good blacksmith. So excuse you, sir. 
You don't have to leave the hideout, so you don't know what's good and what's not. Materialize. Material? Metal-wise. But it's okay, because I'm going to help you out. Excuse me, lady. I just jumped through her. Alright, what's going on? Speak. Bloody hell, Clive. Mm-hmm. Not this again. It's not my fault you don't know how to open it up with your, uh, better things to do with your, your emotions. Time. That remains to be seen. Yeah. August tells me he showed you a ring. Is it your wife's ring? The sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? It's your wife's ring. Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. Nah, that's not anything you said. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's uh, all. It's his wife wearing... Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? His wife. There are things we'd all rather leave behind. His like the one wife. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. Here we go. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. Mm -hmm. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. Who? We apprenticed together. Back in the day. Okay. You've never mentioned him before. Is he dead? Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. Mm. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? Uh-oh. It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. Uh. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. Okay. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. He mad. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Ha! Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Not happening. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What did you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. I'm always right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. You got the two of us. All right. Where are you meeting at? Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravojd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Mm hmm Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? All right. And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold I'll feet. do that as soon as I finish Good the bounties. That. I'll see you there. I'm gonna do the bounties first, and then, and then, side quest. All right. So, we got some shits. We got, we got, we got three side quests. Um, Cole said it some was hunters, a some bounties, and then the main story. We'll do that in a bit. Nectar. I need to see the the hunt board if you don't mind again. We have a bird and carrot. Uh, the sickle and the whispering waters. I can remember the whisper waters. Um, and this one's the sickle. All right. Let's go to the sickle. I hit the wall. I hit. I went into photo mode. I meant to go to map. All right. 